with with them. And fingerprint is powerful. Uh, fingerprint can go back more than 50 years. So uh, what I'm trying to get out in the world and to people and to the listeners that I uh, that uh, listen to my music is that uh, just I just want them to just to have confidence and everything and, and the music and just listen. What what genre of music do you do you play? What do you consider your genre? Um, I I really don't got a genre because uh, I I love mixing everything together. I love uh, jazz from uh, gospel to rap to uh, bluegrass uh, to country country western. I like everything. So uh, with with that. Being said, I just like to just mix it all together, so I just call myself, uh, uh, I just call it the creation of music, and I just don't put a title on it. I just say I'm a, I'm a music creator. What sounds do you really move you or motivate you? Um, I really love the strings. Oh, okay. like the strings instruments. I love the strings. Uh, if you know anybody, and I, if I ever. Uh, did some music or they asked me to come in, uh, I want to do the strings. <laughs> okay. All I, right. I just love strings. It, uh, it, it's, it calms the soul, and I love calming the soul. Anything that can uh, take your, your mind off a bad thought, I, 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 I love switching a bad thought into a good thought. Who do you model your music after? Is um, there somebody that you, when you were young, that you just, you know, hey, I... I that just fed your spirit? Well, it's funny. When I was younger, my mom used to take me to church. And I was ah, I don't want to go to church. And we went to this one church. And then I, I, the music started playing. And then I heard the drummer. And then the drummer, he was just doing all kind of moves and everything. And I was like, oh, they, they do this in church. And I'm like, oh, I think I want to play the drums. Yeah, so yeah. Every, ever since then, I had my little... My little two sticks or my two pencils, and I, I'll be in church and I'll be uh, listening. And I was like, yeah. So it, it gave me motivation and gave me a, a reason to want to go to church. You know, that's pretty cool. I have to go back to, um, I wanted to share this with you when you said that when we take um, children, we really don't know what feeds children um, in mm -hmm. service. I was attending uh, a church and um, Ken Tolbert, oh yeah, awesome young man. He actually was the musician, the minister of music at the church I was attending. Okay. At the time, I was taking my grandson um, to church, and he always he just loved to be with me, loved to hang with me. Mm -hmm. But I noticed when they would start the, the, the music, praise and worship, he would sit straight up and look up. And after service, straight to the front of the church because he didn't go during service yeah. but he went straight to the front and ken was one who told me if i'm here let him come up let him come up because that is how i um That's developed awesome. a love for music so I, I just keep remembering that that feeds my spirit because that's how him and his brothers got to where they oh are. yes yes yeah that's, that's lovely awesome. they are lovely talents yeah. yeah they are lovely talents i i i know i'm gonna went to school with them oh cool so i caught they last year so okay when i was a freshman they was seniors they were so right they, there they, they was leaving yeah so when you say you had the pencils as a little kid yeah that as, just as reminds kid, me of kid. my grandson yeah. Je um, um listen to me desmond Okay. How he used to just sit straight up, like you could just see it in his eyes. I can't wait to service is over. So yeah, yeah, awesome. that's one. That's one. <laughs> Do you come from a music family? Uh, I didn't know until I talked to my dad recently that his grandfather played the keyboard and played the organ. Okay. I didn't know that until here recently. So I got kind of excited about that because I'm like, well, where do I get my music? Where do you get from? that from? It huh? just come. I, I don't know where it come from. Like, I just got a piano one day and just start messing around with it. So now, have you had any formal training? No training. So it's all natural. It's yes, all, all, it's all training, all by ear. Uh, oh. When I uh, when I would when I was coming up, I listened to the radio and play off the radio a lot. Oh. Oh. 
So minus you have four, four little ones. Yes. Do either one of them? I you have two boy. Wait, three boys and one girl. Nope, two boys, two girls. Oh, two girls. Okay, so I remember the little girl who was was at the uh, the Three Rivers. <laughs> she, her, your your wife had to turn her away because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's a daddy's girl. Yes. She, she's such a daddy's girl, and she like attached to me. Wow. Like I can't. Creep in the house. <laughs> she hear me. She wake up out the deepest sleep. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, she wake up out her, out her deepest sleep just to, just to uh, let baby. you know I'm here, yeah. huh? <laughs> Does she have any musical interests or any of your children? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I got uh, pianos and drums at the house. All in the house. So huh? all I hear is boom, boom, bang, bang, <laughs> ding, 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 boom, boom, bang, ding. And I just love it because it's cre- it's this, it's creating music and and whatever they do, it, it give me motivation to keep yeah. going. And uh, they hit something that I hear. Just they just don't. They just don't know. They just playing. But I hear all kind of opportunities. Okay. All right. They, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like like they give me all kind of ideas, so I feed off of them. Like now, since I had start having kids and stuff, yeah. and this is a beautiful thing because they they feed you a lot of things that you don't even know that right. you're being fed. Right. So, right. Being a, being a father is, is great. That's awesome. Great. <laughs> I yeah. kind of feel the same way about people that come into the studio. They come in and every every soul that comes in and sits down and talks to me um, actually feeds my spirit, feeds my soul. Oh, okay. Especially when they get in the zone. Um, and I can like, oh, okay, all I have to do is sit quietly, <laughs> which is a hard thing to do. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what instruments do you play? Uh, I play... The drums and the piano, any anything, piano, keyboard, anything with keys on it, <laughs> I can play. Uh, I play a little bit of the bass, I mess around a little bit, but uh, yeah, just drums. Uh, drums was my first, and then you know I got drafted to the keyboards. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's the biggest problem that you have to overcome being a musician? Or, an, or do you consider yourself, let me back up, a musician or an artist? What title do you give yourself? Uh, I'm an artist. I say I'm an artist because I got a lot of unknown talents that I haven't got out in the world yet. Okay. That I haven't, you know, let the world hear yet. But I write music too. I write lyrics. So that's, that's probably the only thing that I, I'm kind of, you know, on a on a on a line with. You know, what do you mean? About, um, like, cause I know I can I can create music, but mm-hmm. it's like it's just words. Um, words is powerful, and people. That's how you know people can tell, you know, uh, what you're feeling, how what's going on in your life, mm-hmm. and all that, and. It's just kind of hard for me to, you know, do that right now. You mean put <laughs> the, it out put there, it together. put the words out Yeah, put okay. it together to make it sound right. Because, the, you know, the music thing is, I think it's going good, but it's just the writing part. So I wonder why that is. Why do you think that is? Um, uh, my, uh, it, mm, I would say, I would say not a, I just, I feel I, I lived a pretty good life, uh-huh. and everybody that do music, they have a whole bunch of negative things, okay. and that they 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 have say they they have to experience, and then they they tell it to the world, and the and the, the world grasps grasps, wow. and it is it's kind of hard to tell my story because I I had a I, I had a real good life growing up, even though I lived in a single parent house, I never wanted for nothing. I never need anything. Okay. I always got what I wanted and you know I That's a story I, right there. Yeah, I grew yeah. up. Yeah, I grew up and you know, went to college and all that. So um so yeah, strong warm household is a good household. I think I, I asked that question, I kinda knew it was going to go a little bit in the in that direction because people who are talented people, even painters, they experience their lives in the art. Yes. And that's a cool thing um, to be for, for someone 
who's viewing it to be able to look at it and, and tell the art. But to tell a story, um, even through the music, does not necessarily mean it's a negative story. You yes. know what I mean? Yeah. The biggest challenge, I think, even for myself, is to be able to tell the story because it's so personal and not be able to judge, not, mm -hmm. not be judged. But you know what? You're going to be judged no matter what. Yes, yes. You know? Yes, that and that's the hardest thing to uh to get to get through your head. Right, like, right, right. Like you're gonna be judged, even right. in good or bad, you're gonna be good judged and the fear of being judged bad is right. just it's just a fear that it just you can't get back. So right, your right. first expression, your first you know, and they gotta be good. Yeah. And uh, a bad expression it's hard to, it's hard to get that back. Especially you know, when you don't got a lot of uh, you know, a lot of ways to talk to the world. You okay. know, if you do one thing and uh, you never get a chance to explain yourself. Yeah. I and, see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I got it. Well, I've listened to your your several couple of your CDs, and I I say that they're they're awesome. They oh, are, thank you. They really do. Um, I can't even. I didn't bring that. I was rushing to get here, so I'm. I'm oh. The the music is awesome, and I guess. When I talk to different artists, everybody has a story to tell, and, and I just say, you have to tell your story. Don't you can't? You're not responsible for what somebody else gonna think or say. Oh, people, yeah. people gonna talk no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a gift, an awesome gift. Okay. You're, uh, and that CD is probably why it's still in my car, and oh. that's really where it is. <laughs> Smack my wrist, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's an awesome CD. I've listened to it over and over and over again. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, another another biggest fear yeah, yeah. Uh, that I would uh, it's uh my biggest fear is uh, is pleasing pleasing the person that I'm trying to explain my idea to. Okay. That's a big. That's my biggest fear because a lot of times people don't see your your idea. They just look past your idea and just think of their own idea so that's what I want to be like that too I want to be more you know willing to listen and um, and see what people got on their minds and, and let's do it you know let's okay. do it let's do it you mean um, when you're collaborating yeah when you collab okay. if you collabing okay. or if you trying to get somebody to come play on your thing okay. or play on your uh, your music you got to explain to them why they will be a good fit, okay. and that's yeah, that's kind of a fear of mine. It's kind of it's kind of hard to talk to people, and I'm not gonna say they think they better than you. It's just they think they farther than you. Okay. And coming back to you, it's a negative. You know, since okay. I'm like new in the game, okay. I'm like new in the jazz. I just on my second CD. Well, I got one CD coming out. Mike told me. But after that, uh, after that, then, but it's just kind of hard explaining your vision to to another person. That's yeah. awesome, you know, because that's that's actually a, the the uh, struggles of a poet oh. and a storyteller. Oh, you know what I mean? So yeah, cause we 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 the the hard thing, the hardest thing about it, and we have to get. Like, cause I I do music and I have to get it to my head that I, I'm a I'm a people pleaser. I have to please the people if I want to do this music. I have to. So in my heart, that's what I I'm not no musician. I'm a people pleaser. Okay. You know, because I love to see a person smile. Oh, I heard your CD on the radio. Or yeah, yeah, CD yeah. Good. It's just good to hear that. And I just and it just motivate me to want to just. Give more people more music. And, I get know, it. I and, do and get I'm just, it. just a people person. Just love. Love people. But you got to please.